today we're off to Morialta Conservation Park and the Mount Lofty Summit. And today is Elizabeth's turn to do some driving. Elizabeth, where are we? Um, Morialta Conservation Park. We're gonna do the first falls walk because it's gonna take too long and it's gonna be tiring if we do the rest. Only 30 seconds into the walk and what do we see already Milika? A koala. A koala in the wild. How amazing. Do you think there's going to be water in the waterfall? I hope so. Eighty nine steps to the Giants Cave. Here we've made it to Giant's Cave and as you can see it is a large cave. As we continue our walk up the, along the trail it starts to get a lot steeper and harder. And harder. We come around the corner thinking that's going to be it. But there's more to go. Want to have a seat? Yeah? Oh, this is not even the top yet either. But what a view so far. That lady's just seen the walk up the top and but they're not gonna take they're not gonna make it. So we've made it back down the bottom of a nice walk. How did you feel kids? Tired. All right. Ooh, a snake. <laughs> Yummy. All right, let's have a snake. Is it koala with glasses on? <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Look at the size of this tree. It's huge. It's so wide that even the kids can't wrap their arms around it. All right, we're back in the car. We've just finished going to Morialta Conservation Park and doing the First Falls Walk and to see the Giant's Cave. Now we're off to Waterfall Gully to do the Waterfall to Mount Lofty Summit Walk. All right, we've just parked our car about uh, four or five hundred meters away from the summit walk because the car park is fairly full. Here we are here at Waterfall Gully Kiosk and Restaurant and we're going to make our way past the first fall, the second falls, the third falls, the fourth falls, the six because the number five is over here on a different track all the way up to Mount Lofty Summit. 
Uh, seeing on this, we're going on Waterfall Gully to Mount Lofty Summit Hike. It's a seven and a half kilometer return and it should take probably under four hours because we're fairly fast. As we start our journey up, I don't think everybody's too happy that it's a seven and a half kilometer return. They think it's going to take four hours, but I think it's only going to take about an hour and a half. Here we are, we've been to our first waterfall and it wasn't that far from the car park. Only just a couple, maybe a hundred or two meters. First part up and we've already got a steep bit of a hill, just up from the waterfall. It's just the start of what's to come. As we look back down to where we just were a couple of minutes ago, you realize that your legs are already starting to burn and you're only a couple of hundred meters into the walk. And I just saw an amazing sign at the caravan park. A yawn is a silent scream for coffee. And I've been yawning a lot this morning. How many waterfalls and floors are we going to look at? Well, we're going to see five on this trek. But all up, there's six of them. So how many have you seen so far? One. One? Well, tell me when you see the rest of them. I think I hear one now. What's this one called, Milica? Second Falls. Is it called Second Falls? This is the second one we saw, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> From the Second Falls, we didn't think it could get any steeper, but it has. In such a short distance, we've climbed up this far. Just the one we thought couldn't get any steeper. Just after waterfall number three. Whew. This just got really, really steep. It's just over halfway and we're at Wilson's Bog. Now the swamps are rare in the Mount Lofty Ranges and this is one of the largest in the Cleland Conservation Park. All right, just over 1.65 kilometers to the top. Not that far to go now. Fortunately, we've arrived at waterfall number three and it seems to be not flowing due to the summer heat. About one kilometer out, Milika's legs are given up, so now I've got to carry her. But it's the worst part of the walk. It's the steepest part we're walking up. We've made it to the 800 meters to go mark, and that hill has taken it out of us. We're just having a break. Nikolai seems like he can keep going. We've pulled up. To admire the view. All right, we've got 400 meters to go. That was the hardest 400 meters I've ever had to do because I was carrying Milica on my back the whole way. So now she's had a bit of a rest and she's walking the last 400 meters, hopefully. Where are we, Milica? As you start getting close to the summit, you can see that there's been a bushfire around here recently. The smell of it is intense. We finally made it to the summit of Mount Lofty. Here we 
are at the top of Mount Pompey and it's very, very windy. Unfortunately, the cafe is actually closed on Boxing Day. And two, and two more, days. more days. And two more days after. So we can't get the beloved ice creams, but we've got the next or best alternative, which is strawberries and cherries. So far, we've spent an hour and a half on the trail, which includes walking up there. Well, not really walking up there, struggling to get up there, and then spending about 20 minutes, half an hour up the top, taking photos, resting, before now we're heading back down the trail, which is a lot easier. Why? Because it's downhill. And we're about one kilometre out from the finish to get down to the base again and it's starting to go uphill. And I'll tell you what, we forgot all about how easy that we've been going downhill and how hard it is to go back uphill. And we've made it back to the start of the walk, back down to Waterfall Gully and the first falls We've just got back in the car from our walk up to the summit at Mount Lofty from Waterfall Gully. I tell you what, it was hard getting up there, the legs were burning. But even getting down, I was surprised. It was uh, taking a lot on the knees just to try and stop yourself from going down too fast and halting your momentum. Now we're off to a big surprise. Well, actually, it's a giant surprise for the kids. And here we are, we've made it. What is it? Factory. No, it's a giant rocking horse. <laughs> 